Right now, parents and teachers in Akron are learning more about the possibility of the closing of three elementary schools next year. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Leon Bibb. The Akron superintendent is holding the State of the Schools address. Last night he did. Akron parents voiced their feelings on the matter last night. The superintendent said he understood their frustrations because the situation affected his own child. News Channel 5's Josh Booth picks up our story. Frustrated parents spoke out, saying closing this school, Barrett Elementary, is a bad idea. You can move those kids over here. Akron Public Schools has to come up with a way to fill a $22 million deficit this year alone. The superintendent says closing Barrett, Rankin, and Essex schools is a start. Just from support staff, we're probably talking about a million dollars uh, just for secretaries, principal, custodians, etc. Some parents think the cuts should be coming from somewhere else. Stop closing schools and building new ones. Renovate what you have. It costs more money to build a new school than it does to fix an old school. But this year's double digit deficit isn't the only problem. And if a levy doesn't pass in November, we could have uh, probably the same amount to cut from the budget the following year. So, absolutely, we could look at some additional building closures. The bottom line, he says, too many buildings and not enough students. I know it's very difficult for people to you know, go through that, but it's something we have to do or we are going to face a state takeover at some point. That report filed by Josh Boos. The ultimate decision to close any schools must be made by the school board. It could not vote on the closings at its meeting on Monday. It could vote on the closings, I should say. We have crews at the State of the Schools address there in Akron, and we'll have details on later editions on News Channel 5 and on Newsnet5.com.